In the final question of this series where we learn how to solve photon energy problems, we're asked the energy required to dislodge electrons from sodium metal via the photoelectric effect is 275 kilojoules per mole. What length in nanometers of light has sufficient energy per photon to dislodge an electron from the surface of sodium? Let's start by writing out what we know. We know that there's a relationship between energy Planck's constant and the frequency, where the frequency can further be broken down into the speed of light per wavelength, and that's represented by lambda. Now we're told that 275 kilojoules per mole are required, and we're looking for this part. So the first thing that I'll do is multiply this number, 275 kilojoules per mole, by Avogadro's number. By doing that, the mole unit will cancel out because we want this exclusively in kilojoules. So let's go ahead and do that first. We have 275 kilojoules per mole. I'll multiply this by Avogadro's number, which is right here. And instead of the moles being at the bottom, I'll put them at the top and the atoms at the bottom. So I end up with one mole per 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Now to use this formula, the speed of light is in meters per second and Planck's constant is in joules time seconds. So we need this also in joules. Where the relationship with kilojoules and joules is 1 kilojoule is equal to 1000 joules. So this unit and this unit will go away. This and this will go away leaving us with joules per atom. So let's go ahead and multiply this. We have 275 times 10 to the power of 3 per 6 decimal 0, 22 times 10 to the power of 23. I'm going to keep it this way and substitute this right into where I see my E. And this is equal to Planck's constant. We define that as 6 decimal 626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules times seconds. This is being multiplied to C, which is the speed of light, 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. And the wavelength is what we're looking for. To isolate for the wavelength, I'll multiply both sides by lambda. This will cancel out here, and it will be brought here. And then I'll divide both sides by what this is equal to. So I have lambda is equal to the product of these two numbers, 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8, all divided by this quotient, 275 times 10 to the power of 3 over 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. Let's use our calculator, and our answer should be three significant figures. Starting with the top, 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by the quotient underneath. The answer I get is in meters. The wavelength is technically 4.35 times 10 to the power of negative 7 meters. 4.35 times 10 to the power of negative 7. The significant figures are correct because we should stop writing after this 5 and the number following the 5 is a 2 so it doesn't influence the 5. We want to put this in nanometers and we can do that by multiplying this by 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative 9 meters. The meters unit will cancel out leaving us with 434 nanometers, or 4.35 times 10 to the power of 2 nanometers. It's up to you. That's the answer to question number three, and that's how to solve photon energy problems.